Welcome to the vlog. Today we have Evie's Vitamins Pancake Snowman. Gotta find some creative ways for her to eat her vitamins. Fun fact, Evie has to eat her vitamins every single day, right? Why, Evie? Why do you have to eat your vitamins? It's arthritis. She has arthritis. So she's on, um, a, if you don't know, she's on a medicine called methotrexate. Yeah. It's a weekly injection of a mild form of chemotherapy. Well, it's chemotherapy, but we give her a low dose. So it's, that's why it's considered mild. It's because she has very low dose. She takes it every week. So she takes folic acid vitamins every week to help so her hair doesn't fall out, right? Which it does help a lot because when we first started it, we weren't doing this and Frankie would grab her hair and chunks like handfuls would come out and, so, and it's very thin. So her hair will be a lot thicker if she ever can get off of the medicine. But for now, she's still got lots of hair, even though it's a little thinner than normal, but we take the vitamins so it stays healthy, huh? And she also takes the rest of her vitamins because being on chemotherapy, her immune system is a little bit compromised, just slightly. So it helps her to have all the vitamins she needs to stay healthy, huh? And I also think it's super important because she doesn't eat the best, because she's five. <laughs> she tries to eat healthy, huh? But um, and I think that methotrexate also suppresses appetite. So she's really skinny because she doesn't eat enough food, but she's like, I'm full. <laughs> so it's hard, but we do our best. We try to get her to eat as much as we can. Healthy foods. But pancakes are her favorite and that's not healthy. <laughs> it sure is good. I'm gonna fry you an egg too so you can eat a little healthier, okay? Say okay, mom. Okay. High five. Like, good job saying I'm okay. I'm gonna go get some water. Okay, water. And she loves to drink water. That's one thing that I do think she's doing really good at. She's drinking a lot of water. And she doesn't drink a lot of like sodas and juices and stuff. She mostly drinks water. So that's one thing we are winning with. But that kind of goes for our whole family because I don't really buy sodas unless we're going to like camping or like Paul or something. When your sourdough is almost gone, you just make some more. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how good this bread is. And look how pretty it is. So beautiful. Almost too pretty to eat. It begins. Hey! Hey! Why are you drawing on everything, Nino? Why, sweetie? Please, come here. Okay, hold on. Nino's on the counter. I cannot believe this. Come on, bud. All right, Frank. So we got to talk about the situation with the coloring on the things. Can you just not to do that? Can you stop it? Please. Okay. Glad we had this talk. My least favorite stage. Oh, fantastic. At least it was wasn't red. Oh wait. Oh, what's happening here? Jalapeno jelly time. Jalapeno jelly time. Jalapeno jelly time. Guys. Jalapeno jelly. And a baseball cap. Let me know if there's any steps you want me to help you with. Yeah, last time that didn't go over so well. <laughs> Let's just say that he forgot. I, I did as I was instructed. I forgot to instruct him to actually let it boil for one minute. There was so. a lapse in communication train, so it was really nobody's fault. April had the knowledge, but didn't portray it to me. But um, this is one of our favorite treats we have. Um, oh, big news. Girls have they combined rooms. They're getting, they're getting their baddies clean, but can we go show them your room? Is it still clean? Okay, we're not ready to show yet. We're gonna wait till it looks real nice in there. They've, they've combined rooms. You need me to go downstairs. Get the jars for jalapeno jelly. Okay, um, here are the steps to making jalapeno jelly. Step number one is seed and cut your jalapenos. Then you're gonna take a blender 
Actually, before you do any of that, you wanna get your canner out, fill it with water and get that water boiling. And then I stuck my jars in the oven. <laughs> That's not true. The dishwasher. <laughs> I stuck my jars in the dishwasher to get them really nice and hot and sanitized. Um, so those two things are heating up and then I'm gonna grab the lids and put them in a little pot on the stove boiling in water so that those are nice and hot too. You want everything really hot when you're canning so that when you stick the boiling fluid into the jar, it doesn't break the jar. And when you stick the jar full of boiling fluid into the canner, everything needs to be hot so that the glass doesn't break. So that's all of the prep work for canning is you fill up your pot, you get your stuff hot, and then now I'm on the blender section. So you take, and I'll, I'll show you the recipe really fast on my phone. It's pretty simple, it's like four things. Three fourths a pound of jalapeno peppers, two cups of vinegar, I use white vinegar, six cups of sugar, and two pouches of the liquid pectin. And I'm doing two batches, so I doubled that. Um, so here is my liquid pectin. This has two pouches, that's just enough for one batch. And I have two boxes, so I have enough for two batches. This is just enough peppers for two batches. So now I need to do the blender step. So I'm gonna put the vinegar, like one of the cups, so two of the cups of vinegar in here with all these peppers and puree it. You can do it a little bit of chunk, like this one I bought from the store. Sometimes you can see in there that there's like a little bit of chunks. You could do whatever you want, but um, that doesn't really matter. It's very important to wear gloves when you cut the jalapenos. Otherwise, every time you touch your face the rest of the day, you're gonna be crying about it. And your hands can actually burn too, so wear gloves. Wash the Betty's days for the girls. <laughs> oh, bummer. Must... Maybe I need to work on that stain a little bit. See what I can do. Um, we love Betty's. It's on every single bed in our house, including Davy and I's. And they're amazing. If you haven't tried them yet, it's a must. You guys are game changers, especially if you have any type of like loft or bunk bed. But we use them everywhere or any bed that's pushed against a wall. Anyway, they're amazing. We have a discount code. It's April Davy, and I'll give you a link in the description. What is going on today? I had exactly four cups of vinegar too. Amazing. We're gonna have just everything we need for this jalapeno jelly. So now you mix the rest of the vinegar. Oh, and the vinegar and the jalapeno mixture, and you start to heat it up to boil it. Okay, now this stuff's very important. Have these in a cup or a bowl next to you with the tops cut off because you have to get this jalapeno jelly to boil. And I use this giant pot because people, you do not want this overflowing. And it very much needs a fan. And <laughs> it grows, okay? This looks like it's in the bottom of the pan, but it'll be like up here. Over double in size, okay? So when it boils, watch out. Um, and the recipe says you can put like green food coloring in it. And I think that like this has green food coloring in it. I'm willing, yeah, this has food coloring in it to make it that bright green color. But I haven't been adding it because I feel like the less food coloring I eat, the better. And yeah, it's not as pretty. It has like a little bit of a brown hue to it, but it tastes the exact same. So I'm gonna go for no food coloring because that's the glory of making your own stuff at home is you can do stuff like that. Um, so here I go. This is the long haul. I'll be here stirring for probably 15 minutes. Forgot to show you that I have those there in some water. And I do extra water in that just in case I need to pour more on top of the cans when you can. You need it to cover like an inch past the top of the bottles. 
another thing I want to mention is you really can control the spice of your jelly according to the peppers you buy. So you can buy like tame peppers from the grocery store or the ones that you grow in your garden. You can do like a tame jalapeno pepper variety or you can get the spicy. I like the spicy ones and I feel like the ones in my garden are always more spicy than the ones I buy in the store. Every once in a while I'll get a really spicy batch from the store. If, I, if that does happen, I'm always tempted to go grab more and make my jelly because I just feel like I can't get spicy enough ones in the stores. So that's why I started growing my own. And I have made jalapeno jelly with store-bought ones and it was just a really mild, it still tasted delicious. And I like doing that actually. I still probably will do that because sometimes for like some parties or kids, if they're going to be eating it or younger people, it's nice to have a milder version for them. Okay, things are getting hot over here. It's boiling. So I set my timer for 10 minutes and when that's done, I will add all the pectin and then let it boil again and then it needs to boil for one minute with the pectin in and then it's done and ready to go in the jars. We're getting close. See, okay, it's starting to like really puff up now. Okay, we only have 30 seconds left of stirring and then we add the pectin. So I want to have Ender just film me because it gets a little crazy. I only have one hand if I'm filming. So I'm gonna just use both my hands. 15, 14, 11, 10. Oh my gosh, my arm is on fire. Three, two, one. Okay, here comes the pectin. One. Turn it down for a little bit so it doesn't burn while I'm doing this. Give it a little stir in between. And okay, there's two. And then that one minute is what sets the jelly to like really thicken up. We're almost done. Like we get to this can it. jelly. Yes, just like that jelly. Fourth of an inch away from the head. So it's about three scoops to get it. Three scoops and a little. <laughs> Now we very carefully make sure that none of these have any jalapeno jelly around the sealing side because then they won't seal properly. So I just go through and wipe them all down. Okay, so just finger tight. Did you have another one, Ender? Okay, bring them up. This is where you hope that you worked fast enough because this boiling hot liquid needs to be hot when it hits the water so that their glass doesn't break. If everything is nice and hot, you're fine. If it's cooled off too much, you hear a pop and you have a big mess to clean up. So we started a timer for 10 minutes. We're going to process those cans. While the cones are processing, I'm going to start filling up the new cans because it'll take me about seven minutes to get that done. So my mom's doing the same step as last time. Yeah, wiping, wiping the, edges. the edges. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the jar with food coloring. This is what it looks like in the jar with no food coloring. You can compare. Oh, okay, let me get you some food in one second. Let me get these hot things safely to the counter. Okay guys, guess what? I have a special treat for you. I'm here with Ambry. Ambry, what are we gonna do? Check out our room. We're gonna check out our room. The girls have been working hard. We are getting ready. Um, Daisy and Ambry have volunteered to share a room together so Susie can have her own room. And here it is. Dun da da da. The shared room. Just like before, but now there's two girls in it instead of one. 
And two birds. How's this little fella doing? Getting used to the world? You behaving, huh? So exciting. Look at this. Look at this. You guys are so nice to share. Um, Susie's room. Not 100% ready yet. We will reveal the room. I think we revealed it a long time ago, but then Daisy moved into it. Oh yeah, like when our last last year yeah. when the exchange room was gonna come, right? Yeah, what's so, gonna be um What's her name? Oh. Uh, okay, this room is not ready for a reveal. It's just like somebody moved out of it. I'm not showing you a thing yet, but it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. Okay, I processed all of my jalapenos that are ripe right now. Man, it feels so good to get something out of your yard and turn it into something delicious that you can enjoy for like another year, year and a half, whatever. It just feels so good. I hope you guys try it if you haven't tried it, these girls. We gotta enjoy the last few days of summer. Oh, this baby. Now I gotta sit out here because this baby gonna wanna get in. Whoa, Maybe it's time for me to relax a little bit and just swim. We do have family on our way over. <laughs> Davy's brother's in town. And that means party time. Oh. Yeah, Ender! Keep going! Okay, now you stop. Oh. <laughs> okay, stay there, stay there. Oh, okay, run! <laughs> Good job, Andrew! Oh, you gotta touch it! Go, Andrew! Big one. 